All right, I'm going to start off by saying all praises to Yahweh, Haba Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Rukakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. I want to say Shalom to the brothers out there preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. And I also want to say Shalom to the hopeful lit. Shalom to you. Uh, today I have an article that I'm about to bring out. And it's, it's an article, it came out November 10th of this year. It's between not only, uh, uh, none only, Dr. Eric Mason calls Dr. James White the Edomite racist <laughs> for calling black churches, especially theolo the theologically unsound. All right, so we're going to get into this article uh, then I'm also bring bring out some scriptures. All right. <clears throat> so Bible expert Eric Mason has slammed fellow scholar James White, the Edomite. Got to keep got to push that vibration. James White, the Edomite. James White, the Edomite, <laughs> for making what he argues is a racist claim. That black churches are especially theologically unsound when compared to up uh, to compared to churches of other ethnic groups. <clears throat> and I'm this you can read that it's talking about uh, James White, his church Alpha and Omega Ministries. Then the next paragraph is going into the woke church. So I'm gonna jump down to this paragraph right here. What struck me was there is a sense that so like it. There is in a sense, oh boy, am I gonna get in trouble for this? In many churches of whatever ethnic mix, there is an anti intellectualism and anti church historyism. There is an anti theologianism. So many isms in this. <laughs> There is an anti-Bible translation, Bible transmissionism, and it's seen in the fact that it's almost never addressed, but it's especially true in black churches. It's just the reality, the ideal of sound doctrine. Church history, there are so few white, James White the Edomite said in the clip, Posted by Mason on Facebook Tuesday. I'm going to stop right there. Basically, what Dr. James White Edomite is saying, you guys don't have any sound doctrine. You basically, he's calling you guys out. Saying you guys, you know, you, you basically stupid. You, you you don't have any any kind of sound doctrine. I, honestly, I think what it all boils down to is you guys, you, you, you fail. You, you drop the ball. You didn't push white Jesus hard enough on her. Now all these people, all these so-called African Americans, are leaving. You know, you know the Christian um, faith and and coming to their true, coming to the, you know to the knowledge and embracing their true heritage, which is you know being a Hebrew Israelite. We're not black Hebrew Israelite. We just you know Hebrew Israelite. So Dr. James White Edomite, he's just mad that you know that that Jesus juice. Is it working on us anymore? <clears throat> and I'm, you know, and I got a scripture for you. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go to Jeremiah fourth chapter, twenty second, twenty second for uh, twenty second verse. For my people is foolish; they have not known me. They are sadists children and they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to to do good they have no knowledge yeah um you know dr eric mason you got the hebrew is like you know they pulling the scriptures uh not just you but for for anybody any other you know, person that comes up against us you know uh, we'll pull the scriptures show you in the scripture where um where our Lord and Savior, you know, Yahweh, how about Shem, Yahweh Shah, will be a so called black man, but then you fan your hand in it. And you'll go right back to the next 
the uh, next Sunday and worship, you know, a, uh, a so-called white image, uh, as the scripture has said, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children, which means they're stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You guys got no knowledge. We out there week in, week out, pushing this word 144%. But our people, we say, nah, we don't want to do that. We good. We're going to keep on doing what our grandma taught us. Well, guess what? You're going to get destroyed. You and your grandma are going to get destroyed. And I'm going to go and pull up another um, script before I continue on with the article. Go to Proverbs, first chapter, and I'm gonna start at the 29th verse. <clears throat> For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. That's our people. They hate knowledge. We we constantly, you know, upload videos, uh, pushing out this truth, pushing that vibration uh, of Yahweh, Habah, Shem, Yahweh, and our people, they turn, they turn their head, they fan their hand at the word. <clears throat> so, for that, so like, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. How they, how, how are you know our people? You know the so-called Negroes, uh, so-called Native Americans, so-called Latino. How are they? Despising the Most High's word because the Heaven Father, He's sending His men, His prophet. We we are the uh, the mouthpiece of the Heaven Father. So when you, you know, you come on the coming board, you scoff, you fend your hand. That's you despising all of the the reproof of the Heaven Father. Therefore, shall they eat the food of their own way and be filled with their own devices. I'm gonna stop right there, <clears throat> just like in the time frame when um. Who's that? Uh, Haman, when he came up against uh, Mordecai and he had built those gallows to try to uh, um, hang Mordecai. What happened? Uh, Haman, he was hanged with those same gallows. So as the scripture has said in verse 31, therefore shall they eat. So like, therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So whatever trap. Or, or whatever thing that they have set up for, for us, that, that same device is going to take them out. <clears throat> and I'm going to jump back into this article. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so Mason, Mason argued that White's claim needed more research and suggested that the scholars' assessment of black churches is incorrect and racist. So he, James White, the Edomite, basically said black churches lack pulpit soundness overall. It sounds as if, as if he is saying the black church is the most theologically unsound church in any venue of the kingdom, kingdom Mason in charge. He's not Basically saying he did say that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to jump down. Now, <clears throat> in a re this is in a response on his show um, Thursday, how a white explained that he, exactly what his comments were. And he said that they were taken out of context. So <clears throat> James White Edomite, he said, I debated a black Hebrew Israelite guy and the internet blew up. They started posting all sorts of videos about my death and burning in flames. I'm a demon. They're calling me an Edomite. I mean, these are black races. <clears throat> We're not black races. This is what black Israelism is all about. Is black racism which can't exist anymore <clears throat> anymore because in the insanity of our 
of our modern situation instead of defining racism in a meaningful <clears throat> in a meaningful fashion, a biblical fashion, a fashion that would specifically speak to the intentions of the heart. Intentions is no longer relevant. Intention doesn't matter, he said. He noted that during the debate with the so-called, what they want to call us as, black Hebrew Israelites, they asked him why their former churches never discussed matters of church history and theology with them the way he did. The statement was, if you got all the answers, where were you when we were all up in the churches? And I took that to mean that these are former members of churches who have now become black Hebrew Israelites. Where was I when they were looking for answers, he said. <clears throat> they were like, so how come you've got all the answers, all these answers, and no one else has when, so like, they were like, so how come you've got all these answers and no one else has when we were in the churches? And my response was to say that there is tremendous amount of anti-intellectualism, anti-systematic uh, theology, anti-church history in all churches today. And then I said, but especially in the black church, he continued. So I'm going to stop right there with, uh, with this article. Um, so you got, you know, James White, the Edomite, basically you no know, stating that, you know, there's no, no soundness in the, you know, um, in the so-called black church. <clears throat> And I want to, you know, just want to kind of clarify. I know he he wants to say that, you know, that, that we're black racist. No, we you know we for our nation. So if you want to call me, you know, racist because you know I'm for the, you know, for the nation of uh, nation of Israel for you know so called Negro, so called uh, Native American, so called uh, Latinos, then so be it. Uh, what's wrong with me being for for my nation? It's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that at all. So you can call it, you know, whatever you want to call it, call it spade a spade. <clears throat> so I'm going to go and pull another scripture. All right, I'm going I'm to go to Acts. I'm going to start at the fifth chapter. And I'm going uh, to start at the 34th verse. <clears throat> this goes out to, you know, uh, Dr. James White Edomite. Also to, you know, Dr. Eric Mason. Acts chapter 5, 34th verse. Then stood there up, then stood there up one in the council, a Pharisee named uh, Gamma, uh, Gamaliel, a doctor of the law. Had in had in reputation among all the people, and commanded to the to put the apostles forth a little space, and said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourself that ye intend to do as touching these men, for before these days rose up Thaddeus, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about four hundred, joined themselves. Who was slain in all, <clears throat> and and so like as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. After this, man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing, and drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel of or this work be of men, it will come to naught. So what we're doing out there preaching this 144% counsel be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it, lest happily 
ye be found even to fight against the Most High. So that's what you're doing right now, James White, Edomite. You and your counterpart, Dr. Um, Eric Mason, you, you're fighting against the Most High when you try to fight against the Hebrew Israelite. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. Until next time, Shalom.